So I think with the last one, what we discussed was the equalities or the rational or something or simplify or something, something like that. Okay. Yes, sir. Hmm. So uh, let's write one equation and we'll see it first. Let's say a e cube e x going to be x. Let me zoom in. I cannot see that. x plus 1 whole square and bx1 or 2 let it be adding the square x square plus 2 x plus y square ah the 1 So e x one, e x two is done right now. That's fine. So what is the result if I say e x of one minus e x of two? Hmm. What should be the result? Zero. Mm -hmm. Zero. Okay. No results. Why? Because we are not calculating. Are we calculating? We are just uh, subtracting it. Like we are just writing an expression. See, uh, writing things and calculating things are different. Here we are not going to calculate. Here this is one equation. This is the other equation. We are just using a minus mod uh, the subtraction operator. Just getting up the next equation what it is. So obviously you will get the result zero that is I'm not sure that is correct right but here in this case what we are doing is just expressing it right now when we want to solve this we have to use something functions over there you can use solve or anything right so the best one is simplify not simplify simplifications you know simplifying any of the uh, equation okay now stop talking on the chats <laughs> just focus on this area for now afterwards you can check up there all right so simplify of e x of 1 minus of e x of 2 and then you get the result 0 clear might be okay now if i say c e x 3 is going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1 so what is going to be the result if i say a minus uh, sorry e x of 1 minus e x of 3 yeah what is going to be the result then? e x of 1 minus e x of 3 simplification you you add simplify and then you give the result zero Zero. You said answer. Hmm. Whose answer it was? Zero. Aman. Four X. Hmm. That is correct. Four X is correct. Why? Because how you get the zero result? Who said actually zero? I don't know. From where that you will get for uh, zero here? See, this one will be giving you two x, right? So two x plus two x, obviously, you can see from here. That's it, basically. Who got that R A plus kind of? Thing. <laughs> okay, next, right? The same going with the trigonometry, right? If I say an uh, equation one. EQ, EQ1. Equation is cos x square, okay, 
minus sin x square. What is the formula? Anyone who knows? Quick. Cos x square minus sin x square. What cos is Cos x plus Cos. Cos 2x. Cos 2x. No. Cos 2x. Ah, 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 cos 2x. Say, say. Okay, let's see. So, eq1 is this, right? So, we are just going to simplify. It's easy. Simplify this eq1. The result is cos 2x. Anchika is a bit confused. Or oh, was a bit confused. Would be better. Right. Next. Okay. So it goes like similar, right? Uh, if you write 1 by 2, if I say 1 by 2 is something, 0 0.5. So giving it as an integer division gives you 1 divided divide by 2, that is 0, obviously, right? So in case here in the simplify, if you want to write integer float and all those things, we just write it like integer of 1 by 2 you get the results that's it hmm? integer of something point something that's it okay same goes with the rational r a t i o n rational of 1 <coughs> sorry <coughs> 3 by 4 it's 3 by 4, right? Now, what is the definition of a rational number, guys? Anyone? Quick. A number which can be represented in P upon Q form. And Q is not equal to 0. Hmm. Yes, Q is not equal to 0. What order do you have? Can I go? So here, can we write something in the form of p by q if we want like, to be written as something like that? This is equals to p or this is equals to q. Can we do that? Like, rational of this, this is, has been given. So what is p and what is q here? Easy, right? P is 3, q is 4. Hmm. Similarly, if I say this is my uh, rational number r, okay? And I say it has to be rational of same 3 by 4 okay now uh, i'm just printing my r and that is my result 3 by 4 so what is my p and what is my q i'll just say that my p is r of p r dot p basically right so in the r what is my p and in the r what is my q that will be given with the results so in p is 3 and q is 4 easy Yes, sir. Hmm. Sometimes what happens uh, uh, when you pass something like uh, when you get a floating number and that is passed to a rational function, right? If I say I get 0. 0.5, okay, that is 0. 0.5, that is 1 by 2, basically, right? But if I say a rational of a 0. 0.5, I get 1 by 2 basically right but in some cases what you will see that if I write rational of 0.2 you see this number <laughs> now what is it right so when this is passed to this rational constructor it returns you this value something a big amount of values right that is nothing but a binary representation you get okay so for this binary uh, representation, if you want a very simpler representation of this, you can just write the rational and then you can give that you want to limit the denominator. Like if you are writing something like 10, so you get 1 by 5, hmm? right? You want to limit the denominator, it is just here, or you write 100 even. So that's being the point difference only. That's everything. okay. So 0 by 2 in like uh, going, uh, you can say a 
limiting the denominator just a very a simpler representation just specifying the denominator limitation you get the results like this okay now sometime what happens you can even pass on a string like uh, let's say for any fraction if we talk about a uh, rational of mm, 4.25 it's 17 by 4 okay so for any arbitrary precision uh, if you want to write in the rational number you can write it there you will get it easily okay these are the things which you can get it right now in simply we have something called as a real number which acts lies like a float right so in simply we also define zero one as a singleton classes accessible to with zeros and all and uh, we'll see that if we write o and e one that is what oh why is not working oh sorry it should be just one so one is not defined uh, all right mm. one second simply has no Okay, fine. Let's bring this. Hmm. So this is a class of a singlet, and as I said, so you'll have to write this. Uh, Sometimes it does not work. You will have to write accordingly to get the results. Let's see further. So one works similar. The zero works. The infinity works. Right. Infinite sign can also be given as two o in like a small, small cases to run this. You'll get an infinite sign. Easy it is. Right. Sometimes you can write half. To get the things, okay. For not a number, we'll discuss all these things in detail in the numpy and pandas. Not a number, basically none, which is nothing, right? So if you write not a number multiplied by five, obviously you are getting not a number, right? Because five is not getting multiplied with anything. So if it is not multiplying with anything, how can you get the results? Uh, excuse me, sir. I have a doubt about the rational one. Mm -hmm. Um, only in in some cases we need to add the limit denominator, and in some we do not. Why is that? So? In some cases, you uh, have to. Like for rational zero point two, we needed to add the limit denominator mm. for it to uh, look normal. But mm. in cases like four point two five or zero point five, we did not. Why mm. so? See. uh sometimes it happens that it, uh, in some cases you get a binary representation so whenever you get a binary re representation in those cases you have to write the limit denominator if you want like if if you are okay with this then you can write it so when you get a binary representation what is 0.2 right so 1 by 5 a binary representation you understand oh okay can we define it yeah yeah i know binary yeah so when you get a binary uh, representation you will only get this results in case of a binary representation otherwise you will always get something like in rational if you are writing you will get the things accordingly if you get a binary representation we call as a br in a short form if you get a br then you have to write a limit denominator that is why we use that for brs uh all right thanks imaginary unit is nothing but the iota or anything you can say for the complexity numbers and all okay like uh, let's run this you get this iota so what is the value iota i into i what that means iota into iota mm -hmm. minus 1 very good cool uh yeah let's copy this multiply with this we get minus 1 nice So what is the square root of this? If I say I is going I one, let's say is going to be 
the square root of minus 1 like this so what do you get the result i1 what is it i obviously right so things are clear I hope. all right so uh, moving to the next thing right now okay so i think rational are clear so like if i give you an equation you can easily uh, write down the things or simplify it or anything whatever i say okay equation forming i think it's clear like if i if i say an equation uh if equ equation is x plus 2 is equals to 3 you can define the things right x is equals to 1 easily okay so uh, if i say that i have an equation e2 and that is like 2x plus 5y okay this is 2x plus 5y kind of thing okay now this is the okay if i say that uh, there is an equation which says that 2x plus 5 so like if uh, if the equation says that y value is equals to 3 minus x something like this right if it is equal to 12 then we can easily find out the thing what is that uh, can easily find out the things right now from here 2x plus 5y if we have the value of y then we can find out the things like substituting in the things and uh, getting the results right same so, will be going with the trigonometry okay or uh, like we'll be giving up the things so it's one second if i say that sine theta is going to be something sine theta is equals to uh, 3 upon 4 Giving a rational three to four. Oh, yes, we have the equation. Now, can anyone tell me what will the value of cos theta and tan theta? Oh, one second. Make it three by five. You can easily tell. Yeah, it's four by five seven. Hmm. What is it? Four by five and three by four. Cos cos. Hmm. Cos will be three by uh, four by five. Four by five. Yes. Yeah. Tan will be three by four. Hmm. So how we are going to get it now? How you got it? Hmm. What you did? I. Uh, Not in the copy. Simple formula, sir. Uh, the yeah, formula simple. Is yeah, yeah. Square is equal to square, square, square. yeah I, I got that i got that but in this case how we are going to write and i'm going to write three square minus five square giving it the b square results and all so sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one that's the formula it will be imaginary i think mm, getting all the different results see the very common thing or the very easiest thing yeah i think you are not getting into that fact yeah you know something about sine inverse if i say sine that inverse. my theta is going to be a sine inverse so you were asking the value of theta no no i'm asking cos theta and uh, tan theta so i if i say that theta is going to be a sine of three by five okay then what is going to be the value of cos theta it's something 0 0.8 so if it is 0 0.8 then rational of this limit the denominator by 10 oh sorry it's 4 by 5 clear if you get the theta result if yes. it is theta, then easily exactly. cos theta you get the results, limit the denominator yeah. because you will get the binary uh, again PR. So you write the things, you will get the results. Okay. Just a second, wizard. Okay. All right. Hmm. Fine. So same, the tan will be. Now this is something called as uh, cos theta, 4 by 5. Then tan obviously you will get the results. Just you have to copy this one. 
we have to write here and this one that's it the result is there three by four is easy right so i feel this is the easiest way otherwise you can do this too right so someone said sine theta square minus cos theta square is equals to 1 someone said this that there is an equation which says oh, okay okay i have mentioned theta or something like hmm oh sorry it should be plus is it so cos square theta plus sine square theta is equals to 1 yeah so it's true yeah it's an equation also so here we have the uh, theta values so we are getting the results right now so that's the thing okay fine hmm. so if i say that i have an equation in a string x today is just all the problem solvings so that you can have hands on this minus one by two and tomorrow you'll be having test so uh, if this is an equation e q four okay so x square plus three x minus half what will be the value of x if i uh, okay now leave it there what will the value of x if i give x as 2 hmm quickly so uh, how am i going to represent this i'm going to write what function i'm going to use subs subs okay subs not here exactly but before subs what am i going to do 19 upon 2 mm -hmm. 19 upon 2 19 upon 2 yeah that is the result of uh, like after writing the subs but before that what we are going to do using a function simplify simplify of eq4 first of all yes. and then yeah. we can substitute it with the substitute x is equal to x2 x comma 2 yeah x with the 2 2 why is this x comma 2 and 19 mm. by 2 is the result all right so yes, you get the results right so that's the thing okay now i'm giving you a good question all right uh, you have to find out the result uh, if you try it okay so eq5 let's write it equals to the rational of one by two. That's it. EQ five. This is the question. Twelve upon twenty one <coughs> x minus fourteen y plus one by four x plus six y is equals to one by two. Answer x y. Okay, don't go for solving right uh, try to find what way we are going to write here what is the function we are going to write uh, i think we have discussed a like problem yesterday a day before yesterday something similar to this how to find x and y so, hmm. 
solve solve EQ five then the term of x and y giving comma x and y yes oh is this no then how This is going to be a bad one. Okay, let me open the last one. You will see, if you remember or not. Two days ago, 18, 19, 13. Yeah, it should be 30 now. At the last class, we used this function. How many of you have remembered? Let me open that. Hmm. Where it is, someone is there now. One second. Mm, you need two equations for this, I think. In the last class, if I share this, what I did there is, uh, you had two equations, you wrote there equation 1, equation 2, and you got the results, okay. So, in this case, what you are getting is uh, two equations, right. Here also you are getting two equations, y is equals to this, y is equals to this, or x is equals to this, x is equals to this. You are getting the two equations here too. Right, so you can even mention the things there. Like if you can like subtract things from there, y minus this 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 equals to the sum. Then solving it. Let's see if we can factorize the something once again. Uh, is this so? Hmm. So. Same results, yeah. Uh, so you can substitute the things so getting as x and y. Alright, moving next. I have to do a lot of things today. Okay. Then I must have extended the expand function. How it works like uh, we can go for binomial expansions even if you want with that cases. Okay. Now trigonometry is working in the expand trigonometry, something like that, right? And whenever you have uh, uh, equations like this, Let's say if, and if there is an equation of x, y plus y square x, if this is an equation, what will be the factorization of this? Easy, x, y, y plus 1. Factorization can be done using the factor function. x, y, y plus 1, easy or not? Right, clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right, like this, right? Okay. Now, if I'm giving you two equations, now can you tell me quick answer? E1 is going to be equation x plus y equals 35. E2 is going to be equation x minus y equals 30. What is the value of x and y? Quick. Is this so? You are also getting eleven comma twenty four. Mm. Y eleven x twenty four. Yes, sir. Cool. All right. Uh, next is something like uh, sometimes we do something called as cancellation in some roots or like if we have something like this x square plus x plus one 2x plus one will be better. divided by 
six plus one. I hope that no cancellation took place. Yeah. So if this is an equation kind of thing, okay. What if we if we do something cancellation here? And then cancel out all the. Uh, What's up? Factor, factor if you simplify, it. cancel something, what will be the uh, result left out? X plus one. X one. So X you can use factorizations, you can use something called as cancel. And you get the results. Okay. Simplification can do the same stuff. So. Yeah, simplification can be worked there. Okay. Then you might have heard something called as partial fraction in mathematics. Yes, sir. So uh, let's try an equation. It's quite big. Partial equations questions are always big. See if it works. X e six. Yeah. So if this is an equation and we are going to do a partial fraction of this, right? The function is a part. Okay. Function is called as a part. That is a p a r t. Partial fraction of e six. Result is two x minus one by x squared plus x plus one minus one by x plus four and then plus three by x. Okay. So what is the sine inverse of one? What is the value? Sine inverse of one. Pi pi by two. Pi by two. Pi by two. So single one time pi by two. Pi by two. That's nice. Fine. Okay. Next. So uh, for solving trigonometric uh, identity, sometimes you can use uh, uh, for example, simplification, right? Sometimes you can use simplification. Sometimes you can use uh, frigzim. Okay, that can be used for like. Both times you can use this for solving any trigonometric things. Like if I say sine of uh, x square, so that has been defined before. Sine of cos of x square. This value is equals to one. Right? Sine square x plus cos square x is equals to one. But for getting the result for solving of the trigonometric identities, we use trigzim, and then you can write the thing. And you get the result that is equal to one. So can we use simplify? Mm hmm. We can use that too. Okay. So sine x multiplied by tan x divided by sec x. Result sine upon tan by sec. Uh, sec. What is the result? Tan square x. Easy. The upper you get sine squared and the below you get cos squared, which is easy. Sine squared x you can get the result. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, if I say an equation e, five or seven something, I think it's seven. It is. So if I say sqrt of uh, that is a very common question, like. 1 plus sin a okay divided by 1 minus sin a very common question e7 this question oh i'm not going to get the results 1 by sin a is a defined anywhere 1 by sin a We are getting the results. Sign B. 
Okay, okay, okay. This is a fault. One, two, three. Oops, I'm So, I'm just trying to the call script that I put in the answer. One, one second, one second. I'm using one more bracket or less than one bracket somewhere. Ah, one plus sign a, one minus sign a. What what do you say? What is the result? This question is very common, right? You'll find this question in tenth standard, ninth standard, everywhere. R S R D M L anywhere. Let's see, everywhere. So uh, if you use solve of E seven. Five minus pi by two, three pi by two. That's the results. Easy. Wrong, right? Two results. Solving the equation, getting the results. Easily. Or you can apply substituting methods and all those things to get the results. Okay, let's come to the derivative section. So derivative of cos x, quick minus sine mm. minus sine x minus Minus sine x. Right. Minus so sin. if you want to represent a derivative of something, like you can write derivative of that. So you'll get the like uh, an expression of something like d by dx of whatever you want to write it there. Okay. Next. And else you can just write differentiate if you want to differentiate that. You can write cos x with respect to x. If you want, that is an optional method. If you want to write it wrong, right? Minus sine x. Okay. Uh, if I say w is equals to x squared plus x plus 1, what is the derivative of w? 2x plus 1. Mm, going fast, okay. Nice. Okay. So, what is the differentiation of x to the power 4 with the x? 4x cubed. 4x cubed. What if I differentiate for 3 times? 24x. Mm -hmm. See, this is x to the power of 4 with respect to x, 4x cube. Differentiate for 3 times, what you'll get? Oh, 24x. 24x. Next. Like, see, differentiate, differentiate x to the power 4 with x, 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 3 times. It's not like double differentiation. Double differentiation is something else. It is differentiate of, differentiate of x to the power 4 with x. And there is something that is another on, on result, right? 12 x squared. That is something else. And like if we write for 3, get 24 directly. Double differentiation. Triple differentiation, what will be the result? 0. Yes. So, things are different, right? This is something that else or this is something else. Okay. Right. Next. Uh, next, I have an equation. That is the differentiation of x. You keep a habit of writing the equations in your systems also hands will work faster so here is an equation which says x cube plus 2x square root of x so differentiating this 
equation that is x cube plus okay let me first write the equation with respect to x so this is x cube plus 2x with root x and all this is the equation answer quick That's the result. Easy. Three x plus three x plus two. Hmm. Yes. Obviously, you are going to get this only. Okay. Fine. Fine. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, what if I like ln of x? What is that? Ln you might be understanding what is that called as. Logarithmic values log log x. Yes, sir. Now, these symbols can be treated as something like uh, okay, with like it is, uh, right? We can say as like when we work with the expressions and all, it is okay with that case, right? But when we say it, uh, when we define in the log terms, then we have to say that. Uh, the symbols what we are going to use like um, the x and y what we are going to use are real okay then you have to write that these are real otherwise it will it won't work basically so in that case you have to define these as real i will go in that later uh, before that i have a question for you all i think that's kind complex eight it's a bit a complex one Okay, let's write first equation 5. I'm dictating, you also write it. It is a nice question actually. You get better results. 5x to the power of minus 3. Multiplied by the square root of x to the power of 4. Multiplied by cube root of x to the power of 5. And next equation. Hmm, this is also quite a big one. Okay. okay. This is uh, 8x to the power of 9 multiplied by the fifth root of x to the power of minus 8. This differentiation is quite big. Uh, then the seventh root of x to the power of 11. multiplied by the ninth root of x somewhere i have missed a bracket i think eight then the x then the five then the x again then the seven then the root and then the two brackets okay now do one thing write e write the first equation as simply simplify that so simplify of the e8 and write evaluate equals to false same goes with the e9 or whatever your equation name is e9 Evaluate is equals to false. No errors, right? So e8 and e9, how it looks like? e8 is 5 root of x4 square root basically and cube root of x to the power 5 divided by x cube, right? What is e9? 
this is 8 multiplied by uh, ninth root of x multiplied by the x to the power of 9 multiplied by fifth root of 1 by x to the power of 8 multiplied by seventh root of x to the power of 11. All right. Now I am writing equation 10 and this is E8 upon E9. Equation 10, this is an equation 10. Now your task is differentiate this equation. I don't have to do in the pen and copy. Easy one, sir. Easy one. Just apply the formula over here and get the results. <laughs> Derivative of this theta. And this is very easy actually. So, def of e10, that's it. You don't have to go for writing up the things. You just write and you get the results. This is the result, that's it. Can we do any factor of this? Hmm, no, that's fine. Uh, it's well there, it's a... so be directed and uh, that's in the differentiation basically right that's a thing easy now if you have been asked that there is an equation equation 11 which states that a x square plus b x plus c is equals to 0 oh, that is 1 then what are the roots of x quick what are the root of x that formula is x plus 1 root under b square minus 4 ah, you just use so e11 and this tells the answer a is equals to minus bx plus c by x squared. That's it. Simply, this is the result of not this. If you use simplify instead of solve, then uh, you are trying to use some. Let me try that. How can I say without trying? Let me use it. Equation. This is the a minus bx minus c by x square. So someone is trying to simplify. Let's see what comes the answer. Simplify of what is that equation given, right? Yeah. E eleven. Hmm. See, simplification works when you have a question uh, like uh, something which cannot be fact, like something which cannot, which can be factorized, like right Can it be factorized? take y x on one side and then goes there. Simplification is something like uh, you can use like if you are trying to use simplify here if I uh, give you an, another equation like uh, what can be done let's say a square x square okay and minus 3 a b x plus 2 square equals to 0. Okay. If this is my equation number 12, this is a square x square minus 3 ab x plus 2 b square. Again, if you want to solve this, easy, it is very easy, I think. Just have to write, solve equation 12. Results are there. a is equals to b by x a is equals to 2b by x answer that thing. okay these are the things easily done i think that is easily done next equation try to solve so is it easier with comparatively with your pen and paper very easy very quick only you have to uh, remember the ways of writing that's it if you can write other things can be done in a liquid way. 
So I solved my class 12 mathematics paper with this 35 minutes paper. It took me like the examination, it took me around the 15 minutes where I left just. So it was around 2 hours 45 minutes. With this, simply I took all, uh, almost around 35. That's it. It's easy actually. It makes things easy. Very easy. So, yeah, but we cannot take a laptop. <laughs> ah, yeah, that, that's the thing. Uh, this is like uh, particularly used to write a PDF kind of things when you, when you are writing a PDF or when you are trying to do some numerical analysis. Yes, sir. That, that's what I was thinking. So in those cases, like if you are on a meeting, you want to present something or when like this, most of the time in these cases, like if you are in a training session, then you can make the students clear how to use this thing. Okay, so equation 13 3x square plus 5 root 5x minus 10 equals to 0 answers. Just you solve. Tell the answer quickly. Minus 2 root of 5 and square root of 5 by 3. Root 5 by, root three. Five by 3. All right, good answers. Right. Hmm. This is to be done. Now, many a time, uh, as I said yesterday, that physics is also used here. SI units and all. Right, yeah, if I just make you see that uh, from simply, what is that? What is that? Physics. Physics. Uh, units, units, units. What, your, uh, what are the unit systems we learned in the class 11? Beginning first chapter. If anyone remembered. SI units. Meter, kilogram, seconds. Uh, SI units. <laughs> yeah. So let's run this. SI. What are the systems we learnt? Meter, kilogram, second ampere, mole, uh, candle, and Kelvin. All these things. Yes. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, let's, no yeah. Let's have some quick things from simply uh, physics. Start. Yeah, I think I should copy this one. Hmm. So let's write some formulas. Import, I think L is smaller, length, mass, acceleration, force, and so import gravitational constant. What we use it as G G M M by R square and <laughs> all okay. Spelling correct G A R E V T A T A okay fine. And import dimensional analysis. I'm just writing D I M S Y S underscore of S Y. So dimension systems SI units. Okay. Uh, I hope no problems comes. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So what is the formula of force? F O R C E. What is force? Quick, class nine question. Very nice. You can become Einstein. Uh, force is equals to mass into acceleration. That's nice, right? So what is my force? Dimension. Acceleration minus okay. mass. Hey, dimension two. Yeah, that's it. Very good. So L, L M, T minus two. Something you said something. L M T minus two. M L T minus two. M L T. M L. M L T minus two. <laughs> that's what I said. L M T minus two. <laughs> you said M L T minus two. I am saying LMT minus 2. That's it. <laughs> okay. Some is, someone is typing very. So, what exactly is we are going to just write it as dimension and the dimension systems 
underscore of SI what we just imported there to get the dimensional analysis or you can say dimensional dependencies or uh, I'm just giving a glance don't go for using this if you can if you have interest you can go for learning this dimension dependency C I E S F. so dimension dependencies are force so that is length 1 time minus 2 and mass 1 is it correct correct I think so <laughs> yeah M, L, C, M is 1, L is 1, T minus 2. Correct, sir. Mm, so, a lot of things are there. If you go for finding a physics directory, uh, I, I can print it there for you. Print the directory of simply dot, uh, what is that? Physics. Mm, I should get it. Alright, so what we use just now is units. Okay. Similar, you have M sigma, you have MDFT, you have matrices you have units okay let's go more deeper in units what more you have i think we should get something yeah so you have all these things in the units hmm i think you won't get these on the internet if you also search the things all right so acceleration acceleration due to gravity actions amount amount of substance ampere so I think this might also help you in engineering in your colleges. You might get some new units name from here if you haven't studied. Okay, moving further. Plank time is there? Yeah, it's there. Plank voltage, yards, YD. Okay, fine. Okay, so a lot of things are there. Electricity. You can might get the laws, Ketchup laws. That's very cool one. KCL. And all KVLs and all. Okay, they are moving mathematics. Don't go inside the physics. You can go with the chemistry and all things. Uh, okay. Now, uh, when we have, uh, when we learned in the class 7 something regarding the exponents in the power, that is x to the power of y into x to the power of z. What is that called as x to the power of y plus z? LMNN, and what we learned. Uh, Right, something is x to the power of y multiplied, uh, yeah, multiplied x to the power of z. What do we say here? x to the power of y plus z. But how we are going to do this? Right, there is something called as function of power. So far, z and going there for i in this, we get oh, what is this? What is this? Not defined. Is there something? Yeah. Okay. S should be not there. And P O W S I M P. Yeah. X to the power of y plus z. Okay. Now, when I was talking about the log, that means that uh, I say that there should be some positive numbers. Uh, sorry, real numbers, positive real numbers, right? So if we are using x and y, let's say. So you will have to write declare it as symbols. Not uh, you cannot use any of the symbols, right? You have to write. You have to define the things like x and y, okay? And you have to say that the numbers are positive and the real because that is the definition of a logarithmic things, right? So positive is equal to two. If you want real, you can write a real for using the different formulas and all. You must need real also sometimes. So what is the formula of log x y? Log x plus log. Mm. Good. It can be either but so uh, we have to ex actually expand this. Like expand trigonometry, expand algebra, expand this all and expand this. The results. Same goes with there all the things. Right? Okay, let's have a rapid fire now. <laughs> what is the integration of cos theta? Ah, you failed. What is the integration of sine theta? Three seconds. One, two, three. Yeah. Integration of tan theta. Tan theta. One, two, three. Sec squared. Oh. Sec theta. Ah, I got some results. Sec squared theta. Okay, let's write the things. Cos theta, dummy variables or something. I have missed something in the spelling, I think. Oh. Integral of cos theta. Okay, okay. Theta is having a value of that. 
uh, let's talk about the x right so integral like the derivative you can if you want to express simply you can write this integral and all right when doing the integration you have to write integrate okay easy integrate of tan x or oh, what is it tna tan x with the respect to x and minus log of cos of x who oh. integrate of okay integration of uh, e to the power of minus x hmm Somewhere. minus e to the power minus x minus mm -hmm. okay okay fine correct now what if i uh, write limits there limits uh, 0 to infinite same question writing limits okay i have to represent that one second oh, copy integral of this okay see how it it is written so exponentiation of minus x okay e of minus x then you have to write a bracket again here and you have to write that with respect to x lower limit as 0 and upper limit to the infinite so these two o's and integral unexpected d o f y passing y okay one bracket is extra let's move uh, yeah so this is the question answer quick Three seconds. Three, two, one. Zip. So this is one. Actually, like if 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 like oh, IIT give permission to have laptops in their examinations, what will be there? Like I guess. So can you please zoom out? One second, yeah, sure. Uh, here it is. Clear? Yes, sir, clear. Hmm. Okay, next question. X to the power of X, integration of that. X to the power of X. Hmm, can you do? Integrate X to the power of X. Yes, sir. But answer. Okay, you do that. Next question. Uh, log x. Mm, integrate 2x cube. Okay, 2x cube multiplied by the log of x square plus 1. Question. Integrate 2x cube multiplied by log x square plus 1. Log of x square plus 1. Any good results? Yeah, answer quick. That is I think. Oh, it is a good one actually. X4, I think I have done something wrong. It's so many good results. Mm. Is it so? No. 2x cube multiplied by LNO. Ah, I missed something. cube log x so yeah so this is the equation you have to integrate this hmm okay same results fine this is the result integrating this what if we give limits from 0 to 1?
how we are going to write x 0 and 1 clear doubts no yes no quick no and this 1 by 4 uh, 1 by yeah okay hmm. I think things might be clear now uh, there is a topic one more topic is left something called as uh, limits before all these we go with the limits right i'm just uh, writing how we are going to write so like you can write limit of something like limit okay and then let's say for sine of x minus one so limit of sine x minus one by x i'm writing okay sine x minus one by x now x tending to whatever you want x tending to five let's say Okay, done this. Oh, again, okay, no, no, no. so limit of sine x minus 1 extended to 5 by x, and that's it, right? So, the ways of writing I think is clear right now. You can go with any other things again to find the things respectively. Okay. Right, having no doubts, I believe things are clear. Yes. Shivani is there from data science. Shivani. Yes, I am there. Someone is asking, what about today's class? Any reply that class is going on? Catherine Jeeva. So if I say that I'm not going to take class only in that case I'm not going to take otherwise class will be there. M N N okay. So I think clear I have no doubts. So twenty nine once again. What's the time? Oops, 10, 16. Okay, fine. Falling asleep, anyone? No one? Fine. Mathematics. Task is there. So, in the test, see what kind of questions would be coming. Uh, I think hardly have given three of the linear equation question like. Uh, word problems, uh, low class word problems, like uh, class 6, 7 word problems. You have to frame the equation and then you have to find the answers. That is also easy, not tough. Assignments. Simply. And. Okay. Just a second, let's come to. Okay. Now let me stop here.